you can all tell, I got the GG Professional Salon Starter Kit. This is a waxing kit. Basically, that's what it is. Um, when you open it up, So guys, this is where I invested $38 on eBay. <laughs> I invested it on a mini pro kit. It's a professional salon starter waxing kit. Um, it's intended for waxing any part of your body. I bought it for waxing my eyebrows as evidently you read in the title. It has the warmer, the waxing cream. It has five lotions, one um, pre-waxing lotion and then the other four are post-waxing um, gels and lotions. Of course we have the epilator strips or the wax strips. It has three small and three decks of large and then we have the what I call popsicle sticks. <laughs> the wooden popsicle sticks. Just drinking red wine on the rocks. Just kidding, it's just um, cranberry juice. <laughs> Hi guys, what is up? So I am here today um, with another video. Um, I am going to be waxing my eyebrows. Um, I've kind of been growing out my eyebrows a little bit. I usually wax my eyebrows. I have been waxing them at benefit for almost six years so i've gone to one i've i've only been to two different other people to do my eyebrows my first and my second visit doing my eyebrows for the first time ever were two different people ever since that i fell in love with the person who is doing my eyebrows now which is Maida. um her name is Maida. um she works at benefit brows she has been doing my eyebrows for six years. I love the lady, but I want to get into doing my own eyebrows. Um, it's definitely um, going to save me some money because at Benefit, they charge you $22. They up the price. It used to be $20, and then for like the past year or like six months, they increased it to $22. So that's quite a lot of money on just doing your brows. So, as you can obviously tell, I bought the GG Professional Salon Kit, and I am going to be waxing my eyebrows today. <laughs> First thing you want to do when doing your eyebrows, remove all hair from your face. Okay, so before um, I actually began, which I'm actually going to start heating up the wax, I'm going to open up... Oh my god, this is so hard. Instructions? Who needs those? You know what, I'm actually going to read it a little bit. Instructions for soft wax. Number one, place collar on GG warmer. Number two, remove plastic lid and place can in warmer. Set temperature to high for 15 to 25 minutes until wax has thin slash creamy consistency. Then set the temperature to low for the rest of the day. Three, test wax temperature on the back side of your wrist before waxing client or before waxing yourself. Cleanse area with the epilated, which is one of the lotions, with GG pre hun cleanser and then pat thoroughly dry with tissue. Dust a thin layer of GG pre epilation powder to ensure area is dry. Holding the application angle at 45 degrees, da -da -da, play a thin layer of wax in the direction of hair growth. So mine would be that way. And then we place the epilation strip over and then we pull on the opposite direction of hair growth. And then immediately apply firm pressure to the skin that has just been waxed. Never reapply wax to newly epilated areas. Apply GG wax off to remove any wax residue and to condition. And then um, the final step, number 12, is to maintain waxing results longer, smooth on GG slow grow to hair, a hair minimizer 
every day after showering. So see, sometimes you do need um, directions, especially if you don't know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> okay, so this is the soon-to-be melted wax. I'm going to pop this lid open. Ooh, it's like bubble gum. Oh, could it be that I put... No, you see, it doesn't fucking fit. Yo, my hands are so sticky. Figured it out. So you put it here and then you put it in the warmer. Ah. You see? It doesn't, the wax doesn't smell any, like anything, but you can definitely smell the, um, the warmer. And then to make time go by faster, especially since I have a fan on top of me, I'm just going to put the lid on top of the warmer so that the heat, um, stays within that area and then now we play the waiting game <laughs> what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna grab some rubbing alcohol and some um cotton balls and with the um rubbing alcohol this is just going to help me in the cleansing of bacteria and just like sweat that has been accumulated there for the past 30 minutes because I got out of the shower 30 minutes ago. <laughs> I know I, ju I just put in the rubbing alcohol but I am going to try the pre-hun. This is a pre-wax cleanser so um, I'm just going to give it a good shake. So I'm just going to put a couple of drops on this. I'm just going to put two. That's one. I'm actually just going to put one. F it. Because it, it's like a gooey consistency. I'm applying this on the eyebrows. It doesn't really smell like anything. Here I have a spoolie. And then I have these very small um, scissors. My mom. These are my mom's actually. And um, I got them from her. They're from Sally Hansen. And it's going to be, um, it's going to help me trim my eyebrows. In no way, shape, or form am I a professional, nor am I claiming to be. This is just me experimenting and learning as I go. So let's just see how this goes. Okay, 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 I'm gonna go with this one. It better record if not. Um, this is what I have been dreading. This is the part that I'm dreading. The removal. Oh my god. Yo, I'm fucking scared. Okay, I'm just gonna remove it, like, really fast. <gasps> so you get a deep breath in and then pull. saying it in <sighs> Bruh. 
play with me. Oh, I don't understand why it's not like pulling out like this fucking area. Okay, this is what I was talking about. This came in a Sally Hansen um, package and it's just a finishing oil. Wax and oil don't mix. So that's why we use it as a as a form of removing this situation right here. I just gave me like, I just gave myself like a little bald spot right there. Yeah, let's see if I can fix this off camera. I'm just gonna with my tweezers just get these little hairs right here. So I can't really do much for this eyebrow anymore because I mean it's the first brow that I did and I it's, it didn't turn out the way that I thought it was. <laughs> so let's just save that. And then now I'm just going to start on this one. This has always been my good brow. So I'm going to try a different technique now. And I'm just going to go in smaller motions. You know, smaller applications of wax and so on. To see how it works on this one. see this one at least all the wax came out you can actually see hair on the epilator um, thingamabob whatever it's called I don't know if you guys could see, there's some areas where there's still hair here, so I'm just going to go in with my tweezers and remove that area. I just don't understand why it's like leaving those patches. See? All this hair that I just put wax on, like it's still there. So I need to go back in with the damn tweezers. So guys, I am just not gonna mess with my eyebrows anymore because I just, I can't. Um, this one turned out so bad, but it was the first one that I messed with. And then this one didn't turn out as bad as I thought. Um, I did give myself that arch, it's clean. Underline is clean as well. This one is a mess, so I'm not going to mess with that one anymore. I'm going to put a little bit of the post-wax cooling gel with um, with a cotton ball. I'm going to... Oh, it smells like aloe vera. I'm going to apply this all over the skin. Wow, that feels so soothing. It has like a... has like a mint so it feels like like your skin is like tingling when you put it on so it's definitely very refreshing next damn this is the good brow look how that that brow came out good this one not too much so guys sorry that there is horrible lighting and stuff now but as you can see in the background, I am currently editing the video that you guys are seeing right now. Um, so this is sort of like an inception thing. But what I was going to say is that I was cut off because the camera like stopped recording. Um, I just wanted to give my final thoughts on the Gigi waxing kit. I definitely want to say that it's a good investment. You do get your money's worth. You saw the, everything that that packet brought and I got it for $38 on eBay. So... You do get your money's worth. 
it's definitely a challenge because you know having somebody wax your own eyebrows is something else and you yourself making yourself go through that like pain that's something different you know in my opinion it takes some like tough cojones to really do that so some like really big balls so i got the big ball <laughs> i'm just kidding guys i'm loopy it's like 11 p.m already um and i'm like a gma so i'm tired at this time i just want to say um it was definitely fun. I want to get into doing my own eyebrows, definitely. And I want to improve. So definitely when I get better, you're going to see a better video of me waxing my eyebrows. So guys, um, that is going to be it for this video. I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And see you in my next video. Bye, guys.